Good afternoon everyone, it's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. Quick video, I want to show you guys a new plugin that was developed by Black Cat Systems. And this plugin interfaces with Black Cat Systems uh, specific software. It interfaces with three independent packages and the first one is DX Toolbox from Black Cat Systems. The second would be their HF Wefax decoder and their third is a slow scan TV decoder and what this plugin al allows you to do is interface directly with those decoders and the uh, DX toolbox which is a, a propagation uh, suite with logging and satellite tracking and all, all kinds of stuff. DX toolbox is extremely deep and, and really well well written piece of software but what it allows you to do is interface uh, SDR Uno with these third party applications using a plugin and the plugin was developed by Black Hat Systems so I'm going to demonstrate this for you. I'll start with the Wefax decoder. Now with any of these plugins you do not need to use a virtual audio cable, you do not need to use a virtual COM port uh, emulator, you don't have to do anything. You just have to uh, launch it and set it up to use the streaming function built into the plugin. But let me show you. Let me start with uh, the Wefax decoder. So I'm going to, let me close the plugin uh, panel, I'll relaunch it. I will go to Black Cat Systems, I'll go to Load Plugin, and I'm going to start the streaming. And what the plugin allows you to do is start and stop the stream, uh, which is in relation to the audio. It al also allows you to mute the audio, which is a really good feature. Annotate and Colored is for uh, specific applications that he has that will allow you to annotate the main SP or colorize those annotations on the main SP. Uh, DX Toolbox allows you to do that. Uh, let's start off with the WeatherFax decoder. So let me launch my decoder and I'll show you guys here in my output it's just my primary sound card, no cables, no virtual audio cables and no virtual COM ports. So that's launched, that's good let's get the WeFax up on the screen and let's unmute this. Part of Israel, as long as the church thinks, well Israel, that's the Jews over there, and the church, that's us over here, and they're two separate and distinct entities. So you can't stop them together and the Christ, and you don't have Jesus as a possible candidate for the Messiah. Now, let me uh, third. Okay, the, the WeFax decoder launched uh, in the program, you're going to have to go into the preferences and select use SDR Uno plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and check that and I'm going to select streaming. And let's yeah, unmute not, this and let's just make sure that the plugin is also streaming. Well, we need to explain that Yeshua okay, the plugin is streaming. It's back. getting data. Now, and now what I'm going to do is go into the schedule function and, then you breathe and see what we fax stations are transmitting right now see if I can do a quick decode. And as you can see when I let's mute this here. As I'm clicking on stations it's automatically tuning and it's sending the audio over UDP into the decoder. And let's click start and let's see if we get a slight image. I'll do this one quick and then we'll head over to slow scan TV and then I'll head over to the uh, DX Toolbox. So this is working. You can see I'm decoding a, a weather fax right now. So let's go ahead and close this out. Let's stop that. Let's mute it. And let's load up the slow scan TV decoder. So let's go ahead and launch this. Okay, we're going to go into the setup. We're going to check off use SDR Uno plugin, which we're using. Let's reload the plugin. Click streaming and make sure we have streaming in here as the input. And we'll unmute it. And we can unmute it from here also. Now let's go into setup and select one of the slow scan TV frequencies, 14.230. And it tunes SDR Uno perfectly fine. I don't think we're going to pick up any slow scan TV. It's, the bands are really rough right now and there's not many people on. 
but I'll leave it here for a couple minutes. Oh, there we got one. And after this one's finished, I'll show you guys the DX Toolbox. Alright, let's go ahead and stop that. Let's mute this really quick. And I'm going to launch DX Toolbox. So let me just get that loaded. Okay, now DX Toolbox is a very complex, very good piece of software. It's for propagation, it's for logging, it's for satellite tracking. It gives you a ton and ton of options in here. But let's just go ahead and set this up first. We're going to go to Help, Setup. You're going to want to put your latitude and your longitude and you're going to want to put your call sign and very important select SDR Uno plugin we'll click OK and there's three features in DX Toolbox that SDR Uno can control or receive information from using uh, the Black Hat Systems plugin and that is the Volmet and Maritime Weather Station section the Travelers Information uh, Station information and the Shortwave Broadcast Schedule information so let's go into each one Let's first go into Volmet. So I'll select Volmet. And just keep your eye on the VFO frequency here in the RX control. And if there are uh, Volmet stations on right now that I wanted to try and pick up, I can double click it and it will tune. It will tune SDR Uno to that frequency. Uh, the second area was uh, TIS. So let's go head over to that. Let's, uh, yeah, we'll just click something random. All right, that's functioning. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the shortwave broadcast. So we will go to shortwave broadcast schedule. That's going to load. It downloaded the latest schedule, which is fine. And let's annotate the main SP. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick something that's on. And as you can see here, it's showing the station information in the main SP. DX Toolbox does a lot more than this, and I'm only touching on a, a very small fraction of what this uh, program can do. If you guys have any questions or comments uh, regarding Black Hat Systems plugin or the actual decoder applications that are being used here, the slow scan TV, the HF WeFax decoder, or DX Toolbox, please leave them in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to try to help you. Alright guys, 73, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.